All right, hey guys, it's Natasha with Revolution 935, and I have the pleasure of chatting with Famba via Skype. How are you, Famba? Great, how are you? I'm good, and tell us where you are right now. We play you all the time here at Revolution. Where are you? Uh, I'm in Toronto, in Canada. In Toronto? You're not yeah. originally from Toronto, though, right? No, I'm from uh, a small city called Halifax, which is on the east coast of Canada. Oh, okay, how is it in Canada right now? It's grim. I mean, everything's like pretty strange. There's lineups for the grocery store and people don't come near you. It's it's weird. But I mean, it's I guess it's like a, a necessary thing to get through this. Right. No, they actually made it mandatory for us to wear masks as well. So now when I'm coming in and out of the station, I have to put the mask on. But yeah, tell us a little bit about, you know, what you're working on right now. I know that just a couple months ago, you released Wishes Volume 1. I saw you teasing maybe doing Wishes Volume 2 right now that we're quarantined. So tell us what's up with you. What are you doing? Um, so I've been busy. I mean, honestly, like the quarantine, <laughs> like as much as I hate to say it, it hasn't affected me too much because I usually work from home. Uh, the only difference is like if I'm going to do studio sessions, which it does suck not being able to do that. But the majority of my work comes from home. So um, I've been super productive. I haven't been out like partying on the weekends. It's just been hanging out at home, making music. So I pretty much have my next EP done. Um, I have another single ready to come. I have remixes coming. Um, we have remixes coming for my songs, for which is volume one. Um, yeah, and I got a puppy. So things have been fun. That's right. Wait, what kind of puppy is it? It's a beagle. He's over, he's on the coach over there sleeping. What's the beagle's name? Frodo. Frodo. That's, that's great. I love it. Why'd you call him Frodo? I like Lord of the Rings, and he kind of looked like a Frodo. He kind of looked like a Frodo. Have you seen those puppy pictures with, like, the tail coming out of the head, like the unicorn dogs? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my I God. Love them. So tell us, okay, so you're stuck at home. You're working on, a, obviously, a ton of music right now, and you're probably playing a lot of video games. Are you making time? Yeah. What's your favorite video game right now? Man, Animal Crossing has been pretty sick through this yeah quarantine like it's just like such a good like I don't know like cute little game to like escape the real world yeah do you stream it's fun. do you do you game and stream okay I'm starting I actually just got like a capture card that I'm gonna start streaming and I don't know how that's gonna go but I think it'll be hilarious do you want to give us your your tag in case anyone wants to play with you yeah yeah um so on the switch it's uh famba but like on twitch when I start streaming it'll be um at Famba Music. Cool, awesome. So I know that you were expected to play your first US show with the Chainsmokers for Music Week. Oh my gosh, we're how, tell us like, what, what were you expecting coming out to Miami and you know, being your first US show, like? Yeah, I mean, it's a bummer, like, but at the same time, I didn't get too uh, worked up about it because like, I didn't have it that bad. There's some people who had like full tours canceled. Um, but I mean, it does suck. Um, my first big festival was Ultra uh, Miami. So I really wanted to like, you know, play Miami at least. And, um, you know, I'm sad I didn't get to do it because Miami's fun. I mean, it's like the craziest week ever, right. um, followed by the worst hangover ever. <laughs> but um, yeah, it sucks. But, um, you know, I think when things, pick up again uh, hopefully I can get back out yeah, but I, I did get a visa I got my visa approved so you did congratulations yeah thank you so now I can actually play in the states awesome awesome I know and especially now I feel like everybody's been put on hold too so you got lucky like right before that cutoff so right. I read something about your dad introducing you to dead mouse is that true or do you want to elaborate yeah. on that yeah yeah so he was like he was like my plug for music um, growing up. Like he showed me all like like Metallica and Led Zeppelin and all these amazing like classic rock bands. And then um, you know he'd always just show me new music and he showed me Deadmos and I was like, this is crazy. I loved it. Uh, I like fell in love instantly with it. So from there, I was just kind of like this like EDM kid in a world of country music and like folk. Um, Cause you know, like, you know, where I grew up, it was like the country. There was like, you know, right. trucks and hicks everywhere. So. Yeah, like no one liked liked it, but then I kind of like started playing it at parties and like everyone started to like really like take it on. And then there was like my small friend group that all just started like loving electronic music. 
That's interesting. So would you say that Dead Mouse attributed to you jumping into EDM or are there other artists as well? Yeah, absolutely. Um, like my favorite artists um, were like Dead Mouse, uh, Calvin Harris for sure, and Pendulum also. I really like Pendulum with like drum and bass. Mm -hmm. Those are like my favorite kind of artists growing up. But there's a, there's a plenty of other ones, but those are the ones that were like my probably favorite main ones. So if you had to choose, it doesn't have to particularly be an EDM, but you can maybe do one of each. If you had to choose like your favorite set that you've watched of all time, it could even be a band or a concert that you've gone to or something like what's the most memorable for you? I would say Ultra Miami. Um, yeah. I, think, I think my favorite set too would have been Carl Cox. I'm a big techno guy. I love techno and tech house. Um, actually, before I did Famba, I was making like tech house and techno under a different um, name. But yeah, Carl Cox is sick, man. He just throws like the, the best parties. It's so fun. And yeah. then probably um, Axwell and Grossa was a really good set too. Mm -hmm. So you saw them both live at Ultra? Yeah. What year was that? That would have been 2017. I saw. I went again in 2018. Um, I only went for one day, though. I, and I, I was pretty much at the Carl Cox stage the whole time. Yeah, for but, sure. Um, <laughs> Whatever, it's worth it. They have the mega structure for a reason. So, oh my gosh. Right. Have you seen his documentaries too? It's like crazy. Yeah. Like 12 hours sets and oh my god, it's not. I always wondered how people did that. Like, how do you like? You gotta have a bathroom break, or like, how do you even keep? <laughs> How do you keep like your energy up? Like I get exhausted after like a two hour set. Yeah. I can't even imagine 12 hours. I know. And then like, back to back too. Like when he has the residency, when he had the residency in Ibiza, I was like one night after another, I'm like, God, how do you do it? That's crazy. awesome. Years of practice. Yeah. Famba, tell me, so what can we expect from you for the rest of 2020? Maybe you'll come to America by the end of the year, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully if the border opens up again. I think it will. I think this will all kind of like pass soon. Yeah. Um, but a lot of new music. I have a ton of new music, like so many. I wish I could just like show everyone right now, but obviously we have to wait. Um, yeah, new remixes coming out for some of my favorite artists. I'm honored to be able to remix. Um, yeah, a lot of dance music. Um, but in the past, I was kind of doing a lot of pop music and or more dance pop, but the new stuff's going to be very dance leaning, all four on the floor, all house music. And I can't wait. Awesome. We're so excited. And, and anyone you want to share that you're remixing or collabing with? I'm doing one right now. I don't know if I can say it, um, but by the time this interview comes out, people will probably will know because I'll probably say something, but I don't know. It's like still in the in the development phase. So. OK, we'll keep it a secret for now. Thank you so much <laughs> for chatting with us. We appreciate you. Thank you for having me. We will keep in touch and we will see you in Miami as soon as you can fly here. Yes. Thanks.